Now, with regards to the education campaign that your school has been involved in, have you seen any benefits to that? No, not yet. Uh, we, we, our campaign was uh, SAS Go Green. Um, unfortunately, uh, we were not able to start that campaign. Uh, it was going to happen uh, during the second term of this year and, and COVID-19 came along and kind of brought it away. What we did though is we started to put signs around the um, signs around each classroom administration about being careful with the fans and uh, lights to turn them on and off as, as, as much as possible. We started to also um, invest, we invested earlier, but we started the installation of all of our, we're refitting all our bathrooms and facilities with sensor toilets and sensor faucet, which fortunately for us, uh, it, now that the COVID is there, it's going to, um, almost becoming like a norm where we would have had that norm ahead of time. So we, we started with that, but in terms of the size go green, we were unfortunately not able to uh, put it in place due to the, the uh, confinement of the country. And we hope to be able to resume that um, in the first term of the next school year, hopefully. Okay, and that's fine. That's understandable. Can you just give us a bit of background on some of the other activities you had planned to um, have the students on the day. Yeah, so the one of the big thing was to do a, a, a recycling. Uh, we have been recycling with the solid waste management for a few years now, but not to the extent that I wanted. I wanted to have the children more involved with this. This generation doesn't seem to be worried too much about their planet, unfortunately, like us old people. And what I was going to do is uh, uh, adding to my garbage was to put a recycling concept where we could recycle plastic, recycling the, the aluminum cans and the food um, and create an intra-house competition to allow us to have the, the children more involved with uh, what it takes uh, in terms of recycling, uh, weighing the amount of uh, garbage that we remove so that uh, by using a competition I was hoping to um, really uh, synthesize the children to get better at what they're doing because right now frankly they don't do much uh, and that is with an, un un an unfortunate fact another part of my campaign was to uh, create a mini science fair um, we have a, a great student who did very well and won some uh, big scholarship money in Antigua and in America uh, create, creating a, a compost tumbler and I wanted to use that concept to from a um, from a prototype to a reality so she was helping me to redesign a prototype to a reality and we were going to put uh, two or three at school one for each of the houses so that they could pick up the food you know leftover of their meal etc and start to composting and then again along with the, the recycling uh, get this composting going while we were doing this, a mini science fair because we there used to be a science fair in, in, a, in time a few years back a national science fair that seems to be disappearing so we wanted to do something at school by itself start with the school get the children involved to come up with any kind of idea that could you know do some good positive thing for the environment and from this branch out and invite all the schools to join. Unfortunately, and once again, you know, everything has stopped, but uh, we are pretty committed to make that happen, sure.